I want to touch on something that was mentioned to me earlier this week while I was attending some meetings in Melbourne. A lot of people over there wanted to talk about the war in Ukraine and my, what my views on it were. Many of you would know I simply don't subscribe to the Ukrainians are angels and all the Russians are devils thesis that is so popular out there. But whether Russia was justified or provoked into the invasion is now actually a moot point. It's happened. And for everyone posturing that Russia needs to just leave, I'm saying it's time you got a reality check. Russia walking out of Ukraine isn't going to happen. And the only question we should be asking now is how can we avoid World War III and a possible nuclear conflict? We've seen some proposals from the likes of Henry Kissinger, which I happen to agree with, but it seems to me that there are very few who are looking for a peaceful solution. They're simply saying or demanding something that isn't going to happen. Russia has to leave. I think it's time for them and us to adjust our thinking about this current circumstance. And on that subject, during those meetings, I also heard about a 91-year-old Australian woman who was born and worked in Russia before migrating here decades ago. Now, for her work in the former Soviet Union, she receives a tiny pension from the Russian state. And that helped her pay the bills while she was living here. Or should I say, it did. Sanctions mean the $100 per month that she used to get from the Russian government is no longer allowed to be paid into a bank account here in Australia. How can anyone consider that in any way fair? This elderly lady has nothing to do with Putin's invasion of Ukraine. She's been a model Australian for the decade she's been here. She's now engaged with her family and friends here in Australia. She's not part of a proxy war between superpowers. Again, she's an innocent victim. And it's time to stop the wishful thinking and the unprecedented punishment of those few Australians of Russian heritage who have come out here to get away from the madness of decades past on the other side of the world.